Holy smokes. Negative 23. And it's supposed to get colder in the middle of the week. Woo! Well, 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 people. I gotta say, it's cold. Uh, the technical term for those who might be in the know in the industry is it's colder than a witch's bahuki in a brass bra. So, negative 23. We've got some adventures we gotta do. We gotta get over to Wausau because I have a plan on making our audio better for our live broadcasts. And I think that I can make the video better too without costing a bunch of money. So I just need some adapters, but I gotta go to Best Buy to do that. But that's just phase one. Slight detour. Our chicken waters have been freezing twice in a day. So we fill it up with hot water. Well, not hot water, but... Well, hottest that the tub will do. The hottest that the chickens can tolerate. And by mid-afternoon, it's completely frozen. This is completely unacceptable, so we've got to find another option. Bum, bum, bum. Favorite store ever! You gotta love Wisconsin. This is a hardware store that sells homebrew stuff. So you can come get your duct tape and a little bit of hops and barley. Well, the, my favorite part is that it's right across the same aisle of the canning stuff. And it's an entire, entire row canning, of canning aisle. aisle. So you're, gonna, you're thinking the pet bowl kind? Yes. Pet bowl kind? Yes. So, I don't know. What do you think? I think that'll work. You think that'll work? Wait, come back. You're going to no. be in video. <laughs> I'm You'll be so that. famous. <laughs> so famous. <laughs> All right, so this is what we got. We got a plastic pet bowl, so. That is one thirsty pet. Well, yeah. Is it, that like for kittens? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so this only uses 60 watts, um, and it holds five quarts, which is plenty for our chickens, and we fill our chickens water twice a day anyway, so. This is gonna be plenty. We'll see, but hopefully. it comes with a one year warranty. Yes, and hopefully this will keep the water um, well, thawed, Not, yeah. thawed um, throughout the extreme cold. Well, yeah, it was negative 24 this morning. Right, but in the barn it was only four degrees, so uh -huh. hopefully it'll work. Yay for water bowl warming. Right. Okay, so originally the plan was to go to Wausau, but we went online, and I think that Wally World here will have us the same dang thing for about one third of the price. And we don't have to drive an hour one way to go get it. I know you love doing that. I hate doing that. All right, so chicken pallets. <laughs> they respect the stick. They respect I the stick. I just have to walk in here with it. <laughs> no, I still wouldn't turn my back on that no. one. No, that it's one's a little shady here. Yeah, no. okay, so look at this. It's already been changed earlier today. Right, it was changed at 8, 8.30 this morning. <laughs> Zip it, Skippy, we're working on it. So yeah, that's got to go. You gotta crush those up a bit, honey. So we got the new heated bucket. Yep, new heated bucket. I'm gonna set it right here. Run that out there. Yeah, I've got an extension plug out here. Well, fingers crossed. It's supposed to be cold again tonight. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so time will tell. We'll find out probably tomorrow or even later today. We'll come out and check. But that waterer should do the trick. And keep the ladies happy. Oh yeah, and check this out. And yes, the chickens love pretzels. We had a bag that kind of got nasty and stale, so they love them. They'll come in here and eat a whole thing of pretzels. All right, now, here's the scoop. Mama Sita over there, my beautiful, lovely bride, she has booted me out of a man's job. Now I know, hold on, hold on. It's traditionally man work to deal with no. wood and chopping yes. and, and things. Yes. And then I've done that. I chopped all this wood. Well, not all this wood, but the, the big the hard pieces, stuff. Yeah. And you booted me out of the joy of making fires. Because you're terrible at it. What are you talking about? Every time I come down here after you've had a fire, it's completely out. Because you come down three hours later and it's burned out. Woman, no. we're going to have words. Oh, words. 
So we went over to a buddy's house, or buddy's place, and uh, to see how he does his winter garden growing. And look what we came home with. We got some mater plants. Yeah, he had too many tomato plants. And of course we'll be happy to take them off your we'll hands. We'll rehome them for you. Rehome them, yes. So I'm excited about these two little guys here. Yeah, the goal is we're going to get some bigger pots. Yes, they need bigger uh, they need pots. bigger pots. Some staking on this other one. And we got to put a heat mat underneath them. Yes. Which Keep we have. Warm, which we have. But the, the plan is to set them right here in this window. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure that that's going to give them enough sunlight. We may have to supplement with some uh, mm -hmm. lighting. But we'll show you as we go. Mm -hmm. So, But if you look, see, there's lots of little flowers on there already. Yep. These and, are both cherry tomatoes. Yep, they're different varieties, though. And so, excited about that. Yay! Yay! We also got some sprouts mm -hmm. and some mung bean sprouts yep. and a little gizmo to put on top of... Mason jar. A mason jar. Mm -hmm. We used to do sprouts with wheat grass uh -huh. all wheat the time. Yep. And uh, they were really great, and now that we've got a little better setup here, mm -hmm. we're going to be growing more and more food inside. Yeah, because it's winter and really long. Jack Frost snipping off your toes. Snipping. <laughs> anyway, do not forget about our live show tonight. We've got a lot of great stuff to share. It's going to be 7 o'clock Central Time yep. this Sunday night. Yep. And that's tonight. it. Yeah. Tonight. Tonight. This Sunday night. Yeah. So, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day.